Hello everybody and welcome back to Project Storm. I am Storm and today we're going to be going over some interesting engines that have come across in one prototype that I have been withholding for quite a while because I didn't want to give it away prematurely but I finally reached a point where I think I need some help from the community and that will be you guys. When the Spacebound update came out I actually decided that I was going to figure out how to make a splitter engine in space and then I realized aerody aerodynamics don't work in space. So I made this thing and it actually works quite well, it's just it was very slow and I was kind of sad. And I wanted to make it so that it could push a lot of weight and that's, that's what it does. I mean, it has good torque, it's just very slow. Um, either way, I just wanted to tell you guys how I've been as well. This will be a double upload day, so please stay tuned for the next one, but, wow, ouch. I've just been going through college, living life, and getting my head right because I've not been in the mindset to post on YouTube, but I think I'm finally there. So another thing that I've been working on is a very small little splitter engine fighter. Now this one is like about the smallest I could get it. It can be smaller, it's just I didn't want to sacrifice any sort of speed. So, that's not good. I respawned in air. Never respawn in air with the splitter engine. Okay, cool. So, this is about how it flies. It is aerodynamic for yaw. It is fully stabilized on side to side, so for roll. And it is stabilized on up and down, but I am also using the stabilizers for pitch. Like so. There you go, that was a really good demonstration. So yeah, this thing works pretty well. It's only, I think, two blasters. I tried to make something that was fair. It's not gonna be able to hit anything because it's jittering too much, but I should honestly fix that. Anyways, I know what you guys are here for. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. The compression drive. Possibly becoming a fusion engine. The compression drive has been a thing that I've been trying to make for quite some time. It has been something that I've always wanted to make in my time in this game, actually. I have constantly been looking for ways to make it work, to make it go faster. Eventually, I got a working prototype down, and that was honestly incredible for me. I love this thing. The only problem is it only goes 100 miles per hour. Now, the whole way that this drive works is based off of the same method as Splitter, actually. It's just a lot, a lot more compact. And I honestly have to break something for it to start working. So this is the drive. One second, let me see if I can actually get on the ground. There we go. Okay. So it launches like a spaceship. Now, the whole reason why I even started this project was because I was trying to find something like a hyperdrive. I tried Splitter, but I thought that was a little cheap. So I wanted to make something new. The compression engine does exactly that. It compresses. It should compress these two hinges. And if I press E, right, that happens. So initially, this is how it works. I press space or I hit the ground or something. Since it's not, there we go. Okay, it's active. It's weird, but it will actually work eventually, and then it'll get to a point where it just starts moving on its own. It's incredibly weird. It's very dumb, but it is controllable. And I can move at a pretty constant speed. This thing has absolutely no gyros, no vertical stabilizer, no nothing, so it does look like it's being a little wonky. And I actually do need to try to use the actual refined version. There we go. There we go, that's much better. Okay, so now I'm moving. I am moving, and it's working. This is all compressed, and for some reason it's moving me forward. I don't know why, but this is something that I truly can't explain. Watch this, are you ready? I'm gonna press E and detach the engine. Watch my miles per hour. Weird. It works off of respawn quite well. Oh, it's a gyro for pitch, gyro for pitch. I will say. I am going to put a vertical stabilizer on this thing because this is unbearable. There's been a lot of testing gone into this thing. 
And honestly, there are a few things I know right off the top of my head that I can do better. But for this video, I just wanted to show you what I've found so far. I have found that no dragging in front of this is almost necessary. Almost. You can do it, you can brute force it. Um, it has been a while since I've messed with this thing. But please, tinker around. All you have to do is make a basic plane, but connect this up. I will post this on the workshop. From now on, I'm going to be posting everything I make on the workshop. I will be posting them under Project Storm. Look up Project Storm or STORM in all caps and you will most likely find all of my stuff. Okay, that was a good launch. And we're moving, look at that. Easy. So now I'm flying, I can go up, I can go down, I can go side to side, I can bank and yank. Easy, yank and bank, bank and yank. It is very volatile if you press that button while you're on the ground. I guess I know why, it's because it's doing that. And then it activates. It seems to act, it's so weird. It seems to activate off of kinetic energy. Like, if you bump it a little bit. Write that down, write that down. But it's just very interesting. It's an interesting drive, it has potential. It's just I have no idea how to make it faster. If any of you guys do, please post it in the comments. Because I will say I am having trouble with this. And the, um, <laughs> for the engine that everyone's been wanting, the, um, the power coupler engine, uh, I hate saying it like that, power coupler engine, well, that thing is actually a lot easier to make an engine out of than I thought. All you have to do is make it splitter. So right now I'm going to show you something that was also interesting that I found. If you put a bunch more lift here, okay, it's not active, don't worry, it's just jittering. It's very dumb. Well, okay. I'm gonna turn down the music here. And if you guys can hear this, it is making the exact same sound as the splitter engine. That little and then the that is the exact same sound that all of my engines make. Very neat. One second. Okay, this is so weird. I guess, um, if anyone ever needs to hover, <laughs> this is a good way. Well, let's actually see. Let's check how much this is, this can hold. Because maybe I found something that's just not going to be a linear propulsion system. Okay, that's a couple more kilograms. Let's even it out. Um, wait. Okay. Maybe a major revelation? Okay, that's 83 miles per hour. Let's double it. Okay, now it's working overtime, but it is working. That's 100 miles per hour. What the heck? Does it fly with more weight? I think it may fly with more weight. Wait, that's in... Why? That's impossible. Activate. Activate the engine. Okay. It also acts like a parachute, obviously, because it's a bunch of wings stacked on top of each other. I will say, that is 2,000 kilograms landed with barely any damage. Oh, 2,500. Okay, that's a that's really weird. Um, let's try just an extra 200. Okay, as tinkering goes, I did say I will post this to the workshop, but as tinkering goes, I am using negative 100 speed, compressing, and auto resetting. So actually, no, just compressing. I used to do something where I had a delay and duration, but it's just weird. Okay, let's cut this in half actually, and see how that does. Okay, much better. So the more lift you have, the more weight you will carry no matter what. It'll be a lot easier to carry it. Let's make it a little bit more narrow then. Oh, this is much more stable. That's a constant 70 miles per hour, but as, as said, it's 70 miles per hour. Not very good. Now, I'm going to fix the core to get a full compression. So we look at the large hinges and I am using large hinges here. 100 strength, zero strength, let's try it, trial and error. 
Zero strength does not work. Respawn. Zero strength does not work. Set it to 50. 50. 50 does not work. What the heck? Huh. Okay. We're going back to our roots. Control. 50 works off of kinetic initiation. That's so weird. That's so weird. If I touch something kinetically, if anything touches it, I'm guessing, that is separate from your weld group, it will activate. Like, look, I'm not gonna press space. That's what happens. And then if I press space, but if I do the same in air, nothing until I hit something. What the heck? Okay, really good launch. Um, detach? Nothing. Okay. So, me personally, I don't get it. I've been working on this, like, on and off for about, what? A couple of months now? A major reason why I haven't been posting any trail makers because I wanted to get it done for you. But, either way, it's just so weird. I, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do to make it better. I don't even know what the vision is right now, which is a major problem. My engineering professor would not be proud. But it's just one of those things where, like, where do you even go from here? I mean, it has really good linear drive capability. Like, you see that jitter that it does every once in a while? That's a major jump in speed. Maybe more pistons, maybe smaller um, serve, uh, hinges. This is a really good launch. Okay. If you do that, ooh, it assists with turning. It gains speed on turns. It's drifting in the air. Does everyone see that? Gonna zoom out. When you turn up or down, it gets a little boost of speed. I've noticed that all throughout. If someone can make this drive viable, please share. <laughs> because this drive can be a community effort and we can make our own drive and we'll post the name in the comments we'll see who likes what, what name but i vouch for the small one as a compression engine and once we get past supersonic i would call it a fusion drive and i believe since we get to 100 off of um just a little nudge and then once you get to that 100 it's instant 100 i'm guessing if we ever get it to supersonic capable it's just going to be straight up instant supersonic this should surpass every engine ever manufactured. UFO, splitter, hinge. Um, what else is there? There's a lot of splitter engines I've noticed. Thank you guys for that. And thank you guys for watching my videos. You guys are incredible. I wouldn't trade you for the world, okay? So, I am back for now. Please, please watch my other videos. They're good, I swear. I know you all love trail makers and that's why I'll give you more, but I am reaching the end of my reign. I am reaching that point where I just want to give my information away and let some of you grow and prosper off of it. I will still still play much trail makers. I will play a lot of it and I'll make sure to keep on playing it no matter what. But as always, you know the drill. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and we're all trail makers, so keep on creating. Peace.